Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center video, Fabric Management, Configuring Infrastructure Costs. As part of the VCAC Fabric Configuration process, we're going to explore how to assign costs to infrastructure resources. Infrastructure costs can be configured manually, or the process can be simplified using ITBM Standard Edition. In this video, we will explore both options. VCAC provides cost transparency throughout the product so users can see the cost of the compute resources and the services they're requesting. As we mentioned, there's two different ways to assign the cost to compute resources within VCAC. Cost profiles can be manually created and manually assigned to each compute resource within VCAC, or costs can be automatically provided through the VCAC integration with ITBM Standard Edition. In this case, ITBM automatically provides the compute resource costs for all vSphere resources that have been defined in VCAC and are being managed by ITBM. In the following demonstration, we will show you how to define a cost profile, assign the cost profile to a compute resource, then show you how ITBM automatically provides costs through its integration with VCAC. In the following demonstration, you will see how to manually assign a cost profile to an existing compute resource. In this scenario, we have two different compute resources, and we notice that one has a cost profile assigned, standard two-socket vSphere, and one has automatic listed as, as its cost profile. In the first case, the cost profile was manually created and manually assigned. In the second case, the cost profile was provided automatically by ITBM. Now let's drill down into each compute resource and see how this is done. In the first scenario, we edit the compute resource and click on the configuration tab. The drop down menu provides a list of existing cost profiles. We can select an existing cost profile or create a new cost profile. In this case, we selected the existing standard two socket vSphere profile. You can immediately see the cost details for memory, storage, and CPU. By default, all storage paths will have the same cost. However, it is possible to edit each storage path separately to assign a unique storage cost profile. Now let's see how this is all done in ITBM. In this scenario, ITBM has discovered vSphere resources through its connection with one or more vCenter servers. It has automatically calculated the cost of those resources using the heuristic data provided by the ITBM reference database. The same vSphere resources discovered by ITBM are also being managed by VCAC. When ITBM and VCAC are managing the same vSphere resources from the same vCenter servers, VCAC automatically imports the cost profile information from ITBM. We will now demonstrate how this works. From the Administration Business Management tab, we define which vSphere resources we want ITBM to discover by identifying the vCenter servers that manage those resources. We also tell VCAC to manage the same vSphere resources by adding the same vCenter servers as an endpoint. If we click on the Business Management tab and then click on the Cloud Cost tab, we can see all of the ITBM cost objects. If we then click Edit Costs, we can see more cost detail and we can even change the costs that were provided by the ITBM Reference Database. VCAC imports this cost information from ITBM and displays it as a daily resource cost in the cost profile. Monthly costs are displayed in ITBM, but those costs are converted to daily resource costs in VCAC. This is also accomplished by taking the monthly unit cost in ITBM and multiplying by 12 and dividing by 365 to get the daily costs. Here we see the monthly storage resource costs are also imported from ITBM and converted to daily resource costs. If any of the costs provided by ITBM Reference Database don't reflect a customer's actual costs, they can be changed within ITBM. From the Business Management tab, you can go to the Cloud Cost tab and click on Edit Cost, then click on the calculator icon for the cost object you wish to edit. Make the desired changes and click Save. Storage costs can also be changed by clicking on the calculator icons for the storage cost objects, making the changes, and clicking Save. Another option within ITBM is to differentiate between the ITBM cost and the VCAC cost. We can do this from the Administration Business Management Pricing tab. 
If we want the ITBM cost and the VCAC cost to be the same, we choose set default prices equal to costs. If we want the cost within VCAC to be different from the cost in ITBM, we manually set the price for the compute and storage. With either option, it should be noted that VCAC will ultimately use the ITBM price to calculate the VCAC resource cost. Once the ITBM configuration options have been set, the cost information can be updated in VCAC. In the Infrastructure Compute Resources tab, you can update the cost information within VCAC by clicking on the Update Costs icon. When you click on the Update Costs icon, you will get a dialog box to confirm that you want to update all compute resource costs managed by ITBM. Click OK and the cost profile information will be updated. Now, with all of our updated cost information saved, our users can log in, request a new service, make modifications to the default configuration, and immediately see the costs associated with their specific service request. Notice by changing the number of machines and extending the lease time, our cost information was immediately updated to reflect the additional resources requested. Now the consumer instantly knows what the cost of their service will be and they can save, submit, or cancel the request. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, check out the additional videos in the VCAC Video Library.